What's up, Inky peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill, and while Archie's having a nap, I'm filming a quick unboxing video for you today. And I'm very excited because it's the reset girl, and there's something a bit different in here. So I'm going to leave that one till last, and that one. And I'm going to start with the Planner Girl kit. Now, I might zoom you in a little bit. Zoom, 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 zoom. There we go. So, I've got to cut this one open. Um, I am a member of the Reset Girls design team. So, every month I get sent some goodies to play with. And the great thing about that, I, the things that I love about the kits, namely, they're very my style. <laughs> I'd never be part of a kit club that wasn't my aesthetic it's very um vintagey pinks and blues and uh cute typewriter stuff and lots of stickers lots and lots of stickers so it's it's up my alley um and also you just get so much so uh, here is the first sheet of the planner uh kit and we've got some cute little people over here now i will probably save them up until it's winter time here in australia as well i just love these little stickers because I find that a lot of sticker companies these days don't have small stickers and I love to use small ones in my little embellishment clusters so even though these are planner um, I use them in my scrapbooking all the time love 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 these if you didn't guess already I'm not very a traditional red and green Christmas kind of person um, green isn't really in my vocabulary a lot of the time and so yeah it's just not so a, a pink red and blue christmas is right up my alley it's the colors that um i designed some printables for my patreon and i went with like a red blue pink i did put some green in for the green lovers but mainly red blue and pink someone asked on one of my videos the other day um if i could do a video about labels so i will do that when I get some Inky Quill work day. Oh, look at those houses. That is going to be hoarded, ridiculously hoarded. Very much so. And some of the beautiful clipboards. I love that kit. I just, I'm starting to feel Christmassy now because I'm getting some Christmas goodies and it's, it's a nice kind of feeling. Even though we're not at all snowy, where I think today it's meant to be 31 degrees, there's not a cloud in the sky, um, but even seeing just the, the Christmassy kind of products makes me feel festive, even if they're snowy. <laughs> so next up we have the Happy Place Club Sheet, and I've showed you before how you can peel off the side sticky bit and stick it into your traveller's notebook and be able to fold it out which I think is a really easy design feature which just makes such a difference especially if you're someone that likes to take your traveler's notebook on the go if you use it for a planner um, it's great for that so there's some journal prompts here and some numbers for those and then just some rewards for yourself because you got to reward yourself you got your craft on your listed this week or your self-cared this is a good one out of my comfort zone you know if you're like me and you have a bit of the social phobia um christmas brings a lot of socializing <laughs> and sometimes you gotta get out of your comfort zone to to get through it uh, next up we've got the whimsy banners and arrows and like always there's some deliciously beautiful whimsy banners and some arrows and the tiny little sprinkly bits and pieces these last me a long time um, but the good thing is is that they coordinate so it doesn't matter if you use some from October and some from December it doesn't it doesn't matter they all go together so I look forward to using those I might even combine some of these labels with some of the ones off the planner sheet in a layout. Let me know if you'd like me to do to do that in a video for you guys. And then next up, this is something that I haven't seen before. So this is the Layering Circle Love Bundle. And if you watch Corey's live streams, which I absolutely love, I, I often manage to tune into them. She does um, Late Night Crafty Club and so they're late at night America time, but they're kind of the middle of the day my time or early in the morning. So it, it works out really well that I can join in with them. Head over to 
um, her the Reset Girls web, uh, YouTube and you'll be able to find them. What have we got? Oh, can you just see the thickness of the circles? Corey, you spoiled me. Oh, this is going to be fun. All right, I could drool over these for hours, but I'm going to flip through. There's some honeys, all deliciously looking. These are great for my traveler's notebook. I love that background and her, it just goes so well. And then, yeah, they're just, they're just perfect. So you could use her, where's a pack? I have one. Uh, where did it go? I found them. They'd been put away. I was using them the other day with Christmas stuff and they accidentally got put away with those. Um, but you can really easily just layer one of the tiny word stickers on top of one of the layering circles, even with a double circle, if you want to be a little bit tricky. Um, and just make a really quick and cute embellishment. I love that. Alright, there's a billion in here, so you're not going to run out of supply quickly. And you won't need to hoard them as much. I'm a sucker for map prints. There was one month where there was an entire sheet of just small um, map prints. And I will admit, I still have half of them because they're just too pretty. <laughs> but now I have some more map circles. I think I'll be able to crack those open. Oh, black and white ones. That's cool. They look really nice on just a coloured um, cardstock background. Mmm. That's probably my favorite sheet so far. <gasps> Look at the little girl. I just, I just love circles. I, I've said it before, I've done so many videos, we're still going, I've done so many videos with circle backgrounds. They're just, I think they're even easier to use than hearts to tell you the truth. Um, they're just so flexible. And we're back to the start. So I don't, how many sheets do you get? One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, I think. Twelve, thirteen. Twenty. You get twenty freaking sheets of stickers. So my eyes, that's something that you will use for a very long time. And now we've got the Crafty Girl Play Kit, which has come this time in a different bag. So this is, I don't know what the, it's kind of like a plasticky material. Um, it's kind of, yeah, I don't know what the material is, but the good thing is it'd be great for storing like pens or messy stuff because you'd be able to wipe it out. It's not, um, it's not cloth. So I look forward to using that. And then, so this is the Cherish Crafty Girl Play Kit, and that's going in my December project life. Because this year I'm not doing a December daily, um, I am just incorporating it into my normal project life because Lord knows I'm very behind and I need no more projects right now. Um, so we'll go through the cards, they're one sided, but they're a really nice, like, thick cardstock. That's a cute one. I'm hoping to get crafty in the holidays, especially while um, Aaron's got a couple of weeks off over Christmas. And so I'm hoping that he will be able to entertain the Mr. Moo so that I can get a little bit crafty. I hope this is in focus, there we go. I'm a sucker for little houses as well. Ah, oh, it's a Dell ice skating. <laughs> I've only been ice skating a couple of times. We used to do it in um, high school at, we had a local ice rink and I was not good. Um, I think part of the reason I'm not good at ice skating is because I'm a giant wuss. And so moving away from that wall is, the thought of that is, is terrifying. Oh, I love that. Um, yes, absolutely terrifying to move away from the wall. So I would often just hug the wall and crawl around for, for a little while. Um, so next up we've got the stamp and it's a giant stamp this time. There we go. And I think I recognize some of the beautiful Miss Tracy Claiborne's um, scripty font. I think she's been doing some script lettering for Corey at the Reset 
school this would be great for ending the year and or even starting this might be something I might want to do next year so every month do a card where I stamp these things on and just journal the um, journal about it. I might do that in next year's project life because I'm working out what I'm doing I haven't I'm only up to okay so I've scrapbooked up till uh, the first week of April and then I skipped a bit and I've done July and August no I haven't finished August and that's all I've done so I'm, I'm missing probably most of April May June probably a little bit of July and August combined together September October November December I'm only like eight months behind guys it's <laughs> it's fine um so i'm trying to work out what i'm doing for my project life for next year i am still doing it but i'm just working i'm working out some things i've got to have a play around i think some more layering circles in my perfect christmas colors a little hint of turquoise in there or a minty color you've got numbers which are great if you're doing december daily oh they're pretty they're very pretty Oh, and more. See, you won't run out of stickers. That's the good thing. Someone asked the other day if I go through the whole kit every month. Definitely not. There's so much bursting in these kits that um, I don't. I don't manage to go through them for the month. But in saying that, I haven't really scrapped a full month together. If that makes sense, I'm kind of jumping all over the place. Uh, these are little punch-out ephemera pieces. I love the snow globe. I got, oh, this, I don't know, I doubt my stepfather-in-law will watch this, but as a Christmas present, we got Archie's face printed in a snow globe up close. I'll go and grab it at the end of this video. It's hilarious. We may have also bought one for ourselves because it was so funny. So I'm, I'm liking the snow globes. I'm like, I've got a photo of Archie looking at it, so I might be able to use that um, for that one. Some more little punch out bits. And even more so what I will probably do I part of me likes enjoys punching them out and having them like in a little dish but part of me also likes to be able to see them all so I think I'll wait until I've used like maybe half of them and then start um, punching them out but that is the crafty girl play kit you get a ton of stuff and I can't wait to get busy. I'm going to grab that snow globe and show it to you. All right, here's my little Archie in a snow globe. <laughs> you can't really, because the air bubbles there, but it's his cranky little face. Hang on, let me, no, I just can't do it. But it's his cranky little face in a snow globe, and I just think that is hilarious. So that snow globe one will definitely go with that. But thanks for tuning in. To, oh, and you get a washi tape. I forgot. Oh, I forgot about the washi tape. And it's a beautiful vintage -y looking ruler. I have a thing for like text paper and um, labels, like vintage -y labels and rulers and note paper and all of that sort of stuff. So I have always wanted a nice... Um, pale pink washi ruler. I have a hot pink one but it's very modern looking and not not like this so can't wait to jump in and use these. I'll have a Project Life video video up for oh, I don't know when sometime this month um, and I will also have a traveler's notebook layout over on my second channel Let's Get Inky which has just hit 12,000 peeps so thanks if you support me over there as well um, I'm hoping to readjust my schedule a bit. We've been, we've had a bit of craziness happening at the moment. Um, my nan's back in hospital, well she was back in hospital, and so I haven't got work days basically indefinitely. So I'm working every night after seven once Archie goes to sleep and weekends when we don't have anything on I'm working all weekend to video, to film videos for you guys. Um, so my, I'm trying to keep to my schedule, but if I miss a day here or there, it's just because of family emergency type stuff. Um, but in the new year, Aaron has two weeks off, so I'm planning on spending quite a lot of that alone in here filming. Um, just because I, it's the only time I have, uh, because Archie's crawling and he's 
getting into everything. Anyway, guys, enough rambling from me. I'm going to try and film another video while he's sleeping, and I'll see you all ah, very, very soon. Bye!